So this is Universal Dockside. It's a value hotel. So inside the lobby, you got a store that sells merchandise. You got Starbucks over here. Then the back corner is a bunch of restaurants, like quick service. You got the check-in line over here, a luggage store is there, park tickets over there. A lot of seating in the lobby. You also have an Avis rental car service over here um, beside the store. There's the Avis sign. You have an arcade and some swimming pools as well here, Tim. I'm not going to show those because the arcade's kind of small and it's just like a swimming pool. So when you're coming here, though, make sure you check in on the app. Or you'll get an email like the day before. Do the mobile check-in because this line right here where the regular check-in is gets insanely long, especially in the morning and at night. Like you'll wait like half an hour to an hour sometimes. You do the mobile check-in, you skip it, and you go right to the mobile check-in line. It takes five minutes. So do that. So yeah, I'm only gonna show you guys a tour of the, I've, I got the cheapest room possible, and y'all can see that. So I'm gonna show you all that. Be right back with that video for you. So we're in the game room of the dock side. I was walking by it, figured I'd come give you a quick tour of it. It's pretty small. Don't know how expensive it is. I'm assuming they take credit, see so yeah, how they do. You pre-buy them on the card. Kinda like Dave and Buster's or something, but yeah. This is about it. It's relatively little. So yeah, there's a game room. Pretty pretty simple. There's a restroom in here too. Alright, let's go. I'm outside, so I guess we'll go to the pool and take a quick view of the pool. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I'm here, so why not? You know, I might want to know. There's the hours. The hours may change, I'm not real sure. There it goes. You need your room key to get into the pool. Not all the hotels are like that. Yeah, it's got a beach up here. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice out here. You got a beach and you got some mute some music playing. You got a nice pool. Um, I don't see a hot tub. So I guess they don't have a hot tub, but you got a pool bar over there. A bunch of chairs. So yeah, pretty pretty decent. And Endless Summer has their own pool as well. Towel returns, all that good stuff, restrooms. Oh, so over here, it looks like you can print boarding passes here. That's kind of cool. So, not sure how it works. I'm assuming you just do something over here. You print your boarding pass and good to go. And we're on the left side when you walk in. So over here, there's a fitness center. And I'll show you a quick view of the restaurant. If I get copyrights because music's playing. You know, they hate that. YouTube real picky about that. So here's the restaurant. It's open until 11 tonight on a Saturday. I don't know if that's their hours every night or not. But uh, that might be. And it is theme park food, so it's expensive. So it looks like the parking garage is over here. Yeah, there's a parking garage. And the fitness center is over here, I believe. What's over here? This might be the walkway. Yeah, this is the walkway to. Uh, to the exit, I guess, or this other side of the pool. Oh, yeah, cool. Other side of the pool is right over here. There's might be a different pool. This is a different pool. There's two pools. Alrighty. Or, I don't know. I have no clue. This might be two pools. It looks different. Yeah, there's no sand over here, so this is a different pool. There's two pools. Yeah, there's a little fountain over there. Yeah, there's two pools. They might connect and you walk farther back. I didn't look. Let's go look at the fitness center real quick. Wherever that is. Somewhere down here. There's an ice machine. Fitness center. This way. Let's see how big it is. There it is. There's a sign. So yeah, I mean, it's a lot of walking, so if you don't like to walk, this hotel probably is not the best for you. If you don't mind walking, then why not? Everything's here you need. So we'll, we're not going to go in just because there's people in there, but actually we will. It's pretty big. Free weights. All this kind of stuff, mirrors, yeah, good size, cool. 
All right, well, there's the hotel. Pretty much all the public areas and a room tour and all that. Pretty good size. There are suites apparently here. So yeah, I will see you guys in the room for the room tour. So I got that. It'll be in the same video. That'll be the next part of it. Thanks, guys. So we just got food. Look at that line going to the check-in right now. You need to that mobile check-in. And it's right around 5.30. So yeah, I just had food at the uh, restaurant. $14 for a pizza. It wasn't even that good. It was okay, but not great. And the... Uh, the drinks were three seventy-five plus tax. And the way it works is our Coca-Cola freestyle machines. They got little chips on the bottom of the cup and this unlimited refills for an hour. So you might be able to use that to your advantage. They also sell bottled drinks there. I believe they're three seventy-five for the twenty ounce as well. Maybe a little higher. But I mean keep in mind these prices will change. It's a thing part. They change all the time. But yeah, my advice, the pizza was I mean, it wasn't great. It wasn't the worst I've ever had, but it wasn't something I would be all excited to have. So, yeah, keep that in mind when you're uh, deciding if you want to have food here. Or I'd probably suggest taking the bus to the park and going to one of the restaurants there. A lot better food, and it's pretty comparable on the pricing. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. They also had, uh, like, fried chicken and hamburgers and sandwiches and stuff. There was a gluten-free section. But it all seemed incredibly expensive. Like, I think it was eight pieces of fried chicken and like two sides were like 30 bucks or something. I know that's not for one person, but still, I think it's kind of expensive. So that's just my opinion. Y'all do what you want to do. But yeah, and the pizza wasn't that great. I don't know how you mess up pizza, but it was not all that. It wasn't absolutely terrible, but 14 bucks, I expect it to be better than it was. Disney's pizza is better. So yeah, we're going to head to the room now and uh, give you a tour of the room. Okay, so we're going to go on in. I'm on the fifth floor in Tower 2. There are two towers to this hotel. So here's the room. Um, it's decent size. I mean, in the TV, they have good movies on it. Like, there's all these universal movies you can watch. It has regular channels and all that good stuff. So I've stayed in this hotel. For, this is my third time here. And every time I stay in it, there's been a connecting room. I don't know if they all are or not. But that might be some attention that someone does not want a connecting room. You may have to ask for a non-connecting room. I got the cheapest room possible. This was $94 for the night. But I also use an annual pass discount. Typically, without annual pass, I believe these start at like $119 a night. And they go up depending on how busy it is and all that good stuff. This is a good size room. But you got a mini fridge. Yeah, you got mini fridge and drawers. I'm on the fifth floor, so in Tower 2, there's two towers, so if you've stayed at, like, Disney, All-Star Sports, or Cabana Bay, or any of those value resorts, it'll be a similar layout with different towers of it. So this room's a little different than the last one I had. Um, it actually had a closet in the other one, and it was also the cheapest room possible, and the bathroom was way bigger. But yeah, here's the bathroom, pretty good size, walk-in shower. So yeah, it's a good hotel if you're just coming for a night. The big negatives, there's a couple negatives on this one. Um, there's a lot of walking. So if you're not a walker, getting around the hotel can be very annoying then because it's a big spaced out hotel. That's one negative. Uh, that you do have to pay for parking, which is kind of normal in Orlando now. It's $15 a night at the time of me staying here. Uh, Universal in Orlando is very normal for charging for parking and it changes quite often. So double check that when you get here. The other big negative, and this is, I hate this, and I'm in a couple Orlando, Universal, and they're like Facebook groups, and everyone complains about the same thing. The pillows here are terrible. I'm not the only person to say that. They are absolutely awful. I think you could go to the park and buy a balloon and just like deflate half of it and then tie it back up. And it's probably better than the pillows they provide at this hotel. They're awful. The mattress isn't bad. It's not a high-end mattress, but for a value hotel, it's definitely, it's up to date. It's decent. But the pillows suck. So if you're someone who needs a decent pillow, you might want to bring your own or get an inflatable one because they're not good. I'm not the only person that says that. That's probably the biggest gripe of this hotel is the uh, pillows. The good things about it is it's, the cheapest hotel, I used to stay off property because it was a lot more expensive. This makes it a lot more cheap. And uh, they have a pool. 
There's lots of kids, so that could be a negative or plus. There's no hot tub, I believe. There may be one, but I don't think there is. You have to double check me on that. And there's a lot of food options. There's a Starbucks, there's a lounge, there's a pool bar. There's like a quick service restaurant. They actually apparently have pizza delivery that delivers it to your room. I have don't know how much it costs, but apparently there's a sign for it. So they might do that. But yeah, so this is the hotel. It's decent for a night or two. If you're not going to be in the hotel, the room a lot, it's okay. I mean, this is a good size room, though. This thing is huge, I think, in my opinion. I've stayed in a lot smaller hotels for more. So but yeah, here's the room, though. So if you're interested in coming down here, this is a decent hotel, especially for a quick getaway. And you want to stay on property. You do not get the fast, the express pass when you stay here. You do get early park entry, though. But you do not get that express pass because it's a value resort. So you do not get to skip all the lot, the regular lines. If you stay here, you have to buy that if you want it. But you do get into the park an hour early. So, yeah. And there's constant bus transportation to and from the park. You cannot walk to the park, which for me, that's a negative because I'd rather walk. It's across the highway. So, you can't walk. You got to take the bus and it's going to get crowded at times. And I talked to the lady at the quick service thing. She says it can get incredibly crowded on certain nights as well. Like, today's a Saturday. She says absolutely slammed in there between 8 and 9 and they close at 11. So I'm assuming weekends are probably all like that, especially after the park's closed. So if you're going to go down there and get food and don't want a long wait, probably go earlier or go really late. But she said it depends on the day. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, if you want me to annoy you some more. I'm pretty good at that. And I travel all over the place, so tell me what content y'all want in the comments. Cruise ships, hotels, theme parks, all that good stuff. I can do it all. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a good day.